Hey guys, um, we're here at George's Cameras on a nice cloudy day and we're working with natural light, but we're gonna change it up a bit um, because on a cloudy day, it's very flat um, and that can mean there's not too much contrast and often that means the photos are quite flat. Uh, so we've got Diana here. We've had some amazing makeup done by Franco and we're gonna create some magic. The three looks we are aiming to cover today is firstly how to balance out a natural portrait, secondly how to add some color and pop into a flat image, and finally how to combat harsh backlighting all using really simple lighting tools. So we've taken a few images and we're liking the result, but just the um, this side of Diana is a little dark and I think a little more even would be really, really nice and it create a, I guess, more aesthetically pleasing result. So we're gonna add a modifier to do that. We have moved in a nice big silver reflector. Like as you can see, it's huge, um, but bigger is better in this case because it's a very soft, flat day. It's a lot harder to kind of catch light. And we also don't want it to be too intense because um, if it's too intense, it's then unbalanced. Like one side would look uh, darker than, or a lot brighter than the other. Um, so we're really loving like this really large reflector because it's just evening up the shot. It feels really natural. It doesn't feel like we've done much, um, but the shots look fantastic. We're outside in an archway and we're gonna take a few shots. The light's still nice and soft and flat and we're gonna see how they look. So our images are looking a little flat so we're gonna add a bit of color pop with our gold reflector and uh, we're gonna see how they look. So we're back inside now and we're shooting right by the window, right up against it and the light's coming directly at us and uh, it's still nice and cloudy, but it's very backlit, so we're gonna fix that now. So we've moved the uh, gold and silver in because it's gonna warm up the shot a little, not as much as the straight gold would, and the biggest thing is it's not too backlit, which means we've got more contrast in Diana, which is really nice. We don't want her being too dark or the background being a lot brighter and overwhelming her. So as you can see, guys, using reflectors, we make quite a bit of difference to our photos. In the first one, uh, we filled in some shadows. In that second shot, we did quite a bit more color. In that third one, we stopped some backlighting. Um, if you wanna learn more, uh, the link is in the description and come along to our workshops.